Remember, that was one of our old numbers. Let, what listen. picture is that from? Oh, a wise guy. Horse feathers. <laughs> Say, speaking of horse feathers, Debbie has to leave. Uh, What's that guy? Oh, no, I was just making a trans because she's late for a USO thing or something, and I wanted to uh, let you. It was really fun being with Groucho. I love you. It's wonderful. Wonderfully talented but man. Do one of your elaborate <laughs> exits for us, would you? Where you sort of I sail know. off. <laughs> Let me introduce uh, my next guest is probably the only beautiful and talented actress that I know of to emerge from the town of New Liskeard. Uh, will you please welcome uh, a very good friend of Groucho's, Miss Erin Fleming. I said New Liskeard there. Where is New Liskeard? Oh, it's um, so far north, it's appalling. They're under probably 10 feet of snow right now. It's in Canada. Yes, it's yeah. 100 miles north of North Bay, which is pretty far north. Yeah, yeah. But I went to school in Toronto all my life, to boarding school, because the schools at home weren't uh, really adequate for an aspiring actress, and I was crazy to be in show business. Had to be in show business. Absolutely. Yeah. And how, uh, let me ask you about, you, you're, you and Groucho are very good friends. I'm Groucho's secretary. That's right. Now let me ask you this. This is the euphemism of the year. <laughs> <laughs> the euphemism of the year, eh? You, you, are, you are Groucho's acting secretary. Well, no, he has a secretary who does the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> I just answered the fan mail. He made a mistake before. He said they get a hundred letters a week. They get a hundred letters a day. Uh-huh. I, I wondered about that. I thought a hundred sounded pretty conservative. And it's an enormous job. It's just yeah. gigantic. Yeah. And I read the letters to Groucho and he dictates an answer. Usually the letters say, uh, Dear Groucho, uh, help. I'm being held prisoner in, in, in an institution of higher learning. And they go yeah. on to invite him to their bar mitzvah or something like that. Oh, yeah. He's, I know he's constantly invited to places. And, and he writes back, um, gee, I got your terrific letter, and I'd write you a longer answer, but I'm very busy chasing my secretary around the room. And you get to type all those out, or to at least have them dictated Not to you? Not while she's running. <laughs> so you're the Lady Groucho Chases. I've gotten some of those letters. Yeah. And you always refer to the lady who's, who's working with you in the room at the time. I think it's wonderful. You know, I once... Go on and tell him about yourself. Oh. Well, I heard that you... We met once before. Yes, you and were supposed a very to play my husband in a play. What is you that devil. all about? That's right. We're still waiting for you. We're still waiting for the Dick Cavett show to fold so we can have you back on Off-Broadway. Oh, well, Just thanks think. a lot. What is this about? I have no notion what yes, you're talking you about. Yes, you do. Herbert Berghoff wanted you to play ah, you're right. my husband in a play by Lewis Hawkins right, called right. The Country Cousin. Mm -hmm. And you came down to read, and two weeks later, the first Dick Cavett show started. And That's we're right. still waiting for you. Just think, we might now be the Lunts, the Lunts of off -Broadway. We might be the Lunt and Fontan of, of a show that folded Maybe in a couple of days. Even the well, Burgers. That's right. I think that it looked like a pretty good script, and I, but I, you know, I'm doing this and all. Well, you must be. We don't want to talk about me. People want to know from me what Groucho's oh, really but like. You're you've a wonderful seen him. actor, and I think people should know it. I really do. Uh, they don't, though. <laughs> he really is an absolutely sensational, legitimate actor. But what is Groucho really like? Huh. <laughs> Why do you uh, think they call him Groucho? Well, is he irascible and all of that? And no. no. He's no. very lovable and easy to work for. I've had a lot of jobs before. I'm really an actress. Yeah. But um, when I first started Off-Broadway in the Pinter Place, which was a big hit, uh, Off-Broadway minimum was $45 a week. We took home $37 That's in change. scandalous. It's more than I'm paying. <laughs> but t tell me, we, you, last night you were telling, <laughs> I don't know if you, you remember your first conversation together where you and Aaron first met? Yes. Yeah? The first thing she said to me, if you have any notion that I would marry you, forget it. And I said the same thing to her. Yeah. And we've been very close friends ever since. Marriage, you don't, you're not looking for a third go-round. No, I certainly am not. Yeah. I have paid three alimonies and that's it. A three, that's right. Three is enough. Magic number. It's a, 
It's no fun being married. More than two years. Yeah. That's a That's terrible... That's why all the men always keep chasing women. Yeah. They don't chase their wives, they chase other women, younger ones. Do you agree with that, that, it's, that uh, a man should not marry ever? Or do you just think that some men shouldn't marry? Well, I'm not too eager to get married. I've been married, and... Um, yeah. I don't know. It's not what not it's right cracked now. up to No, be. it isn't. No. Not for some people. No. But you have lovely children. I have children who loathe me. <laughs> why, why, why do you say no, a thing like that? They, they love me. Yeah. Of course, it's getting near Christmas now. True. How did it? Did you get into secretarial work to support yourself as an actress? Yeah. The way, I mean, yeah. In, in Canada, for instance, they have the Canada Council for the Arts. In England, they have uh, government subsidy. In this country, they don't. The actors subsidize the theater. I know. I, I supported myself by typing if I hadn't studied oh, sure. typing well, in that's high school. What I did too. Yeah. Exactly. Or driving cabs, lots of actors, really good actors, yeah. drive cabs and they're in plays at night. They're on soap operas off and on. It's it's really tough. And I think there should be some kind of a government subsidy. Yeah. Are, by the way, are you keeping notes of things Groucho says or yes. th at work Secretly, and all that? Uh, on yeah. tape. Does he know about this? Every once in a while I play something for him and he denies he ever said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am a pathological liar, <laughs> but I think all men are. My favorite thing is uh, when the phone rings and he answers it, hello, this is Groucho Marx, the living legend. <laughs> do you do that? I only do that because I mean it. <laughs> you, do, you are referred to as a living legend, and I've always wondered what it feels like to be a living legend. Oh, I usually le feel lousy. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy on TV that fascinates me. He sells some stuff. I guess you're not allowed to say it here, because it isn't one of the quality, uh, one of the sponsors uh, that you sell. So yeah. I wouldn't. Be. But he appears, and he has uh, two glasses, and he puts two little pills in one. Yeah. And then he puts something in the other one. He usually drives a fr uh, a big truck too, mm -hmm. but he's got a terrible headache when he arrives, and he's mixing these different things, and then he takes a glass of this, drinks it, and he drives in the truck. You never saw a fellow drive as wonderfully as he does. And it's just from those two little things, which I, uh -huh. I don't want to identify, uh -huh. because the government is going to stop all this, you know. This you is suspect true. this. You suspect this. Thing. No, this is true. I understand that all, uh, all stuff that they sell over the counter in drugstores it's going to be stopped by the government. Not all stuff, I don't think. I think, but there is an many, investigation. Many, many things yeah, that are going to be stopped. Yeah, in drug practices. That's and right. this fellow drives a truck, and he's mm. going to be one. He's going to have to say, I don't want to say it because it's, it might hurt somebody's uh, living. Mm -hmm. But I never saw a fellow with as sick as he is. <laughs> and now instantly he's cured. And drives like a demon. And, Drives that truck, you never saw a man drive that truck. You're very up on this man. Yeah. We, let us take I this. always wait for him every, every night he's on. You like him? Around 11 o'clock. Yeah. Would you like to meet the man? Terrible, yes. Is he here? No, no, I just thought maybe. <laughs>